As Christians, we're called to give our time, treasure, and talent. And for Kathy and I, we give our time. And Kathy, especially with her music, gives talent. I'm not sure we want to unleash my talents on the congregation in a positive way. With, with treasure that uh, we're called upon to give that as well, and we're blessed in so many ways that God calls for us just to give a little bit of that back. And with, uh, with Schweitzer, you know, there's lots of areas to give with your blessings to, to help God and other, but by giving to Schweitzer and through Schweitzer, we're very comfortable with that is going to help those less fortunate, that's going to help disaster relief, that's going to help the ministries of Schweitzer, and that gives us a, a lot of comfort. With treasure, it really starts with this idea that everything comes from God and everything come and, and belongs to God. And for me, that was very difficult to, to really accept for most of my life because I would look at, I went to school, I worked, I did this, I did that, and that's not God's, I did that. And for a lot of the good stuff in my life, it was I, 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 or with Kathy and I, it's we, we, we. And of course, with the bad stuff, I was great at giving credit to others with my mistakes and that sort of thing. But it really, at, at some point, started sinking in when we look at our blessings, when we look at our health, when we look at our abilities, when we look, we're, we're living in America and what, and what that brings to the table. And, and we just started looking at where all that comes from. And it, and it does come from God. All those blessings do come from God and our abilities to be healthy and grow up and, and live in a healthy environment and, and in a free country. That all comes from God. And then all those blessings, it just makes it so much easier to accept this idea that we have it temporarily and we can serve others by giving some part of that back. I'm a very optimistic person, and this may come across as pessimistic, but there's times that you, you look at things, or I look at things, and I think, gosh, this is just worthless. It, it has no value. We put so much time and treasure into our houses and into our cars and into clothes and into all of these things. But when we think about our legacy and we think about, you know, why are we here and what's going to be here after we're gone, we realize that there's so little value there. A house in a spring storm can, can blow away. A car, you drive it off the lot and it loses 10 or 15 or 20 percent of its value and before too long, it's in a junkyard getting squished into a square to be recycled into dog bowls at PetSmart. And our clothes, someone decides that our clothes aren't fashionable anymore, although I've gotten a good 15 years out of this shirt. But it, you just have this feeling that it's worthless. But what we do through God, what we do for others, that has a legacy and it compounds because what we can do helps others who help others and and you look in your generation and the generations to follow and the potential there to do that good work is just tremendous and and none of us want to think that we've lived this life and there's nothing to show for it but a garage sale and a and a sign in your front yard when it's all over i really didn't start uh, giving as an adult until 2003 and the kids and I were coming to Schweitzer, and we're eating the donut holes, and the kids are in Sunday school. They're going to the fall festivals. We were taking advantage of all of these services that Schweitzer was offering as we were getting great messages from the services. And I don't know if it was God calling as much as I just thought, gosh, I, I owe for this. And so my first check to Schweitzer the first money I gave to God really as an adult was for $25. And I know that the ladies in the office, they didn't do backflips that they could pay the bills that month. I know Bob didn't call the building committee and say, hey, we can add a sanctuary. I know none of those big things happen, but what if that $25 through food 
help somebody? What if that $25 in chainsaw gas helps a disaster victim? What is the value of that? And, and what is the value of a life? And maybe that's the little difference that, that helps. And, and I know so many people in this economy and time struggle where every dollar counts, but what if it's just a dollar? You know, what if you give a dollar to God? What can God do with that? And, and what's, what's the value of a life? Because in the end, our own and others, that's what we're talking about.